Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been forever. It's been like a week since I filmed a video. I apologize, but I'm back today with another tutorial. Kind of rusty, so I hope everything turned out okay. If it did, that's the reason why you're seeing it. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy. I did go ahead and use finally my Manny MUA Makeup Geek collaboration palette. I was waiting a month for this bad boy and it finally came and I was so excited and I must say although I had to wait and complain and send a couple of emails I'm so sorry makeup geek I love you very much but I was just so waiting for this palette like do you see the beauteousness beauteousness this is an amazing amazing palette so decided to use it in today's tutorial I hope you enjoy thumbs up if you did let's get right on into the video Right, so let's get started. Um, eyebrows are done because they take a year and a day to do, so to save time, those are done. My eyelids are also primed, and I also put my, down my base. I use the NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Porcelain, which I always use, and then I used Creme Brulee by Wet n Wild to set that because those are holy grails for me. So we're going to go in with the Manny, Ge Manny Geek, <laughs> the Manny MUA and Makeup Geek Palette. You guys have seen it like a million times. It's just absolutely gorgy, 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 gorgy. Um, I'm actually going to, and I'm not good with the names, so bear with me throughout this video. I'm going to be using my, um, what is this, the Bon Bon Solo. It's like a blending brush. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like that. I'm going to use this, and I'm going to go in with Beaches and Cream and Sora. I'm actually going to mix these two together, the two middle shades. So we're going to go in with a little bit of Sora, and then we're going to use Beaches and Cream. And we're just going to blend those through the crease area. And I don't really know what I'm doing as far as my eyes today. Of course, you guys would have already seen it in the intro, so hell if I know, but you guys know. So we're just using this brush to place down this color. Not so much blend it out because I'm going to go in with my E27 by Morphe in a minute. But I like using this brush to lay down the color because it's dense enough to put on enough color um, without overloading it. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's fluffy and soft. So then I'm going to go in with my E27. Am I calling it the right number? E27 by Morphe. My absolute favorite ride or die blending brush. Need this in your life if you don't have it. Definitely recommend you picking it up. It's a great, great blending brush. Super fluffy, super soft easy to use and I love the handle because it's like really really long and you can just grab it by the tip and it gives you a lot of control and you can have a light hand so that's why I like it and you're gonna hear Jaden in the background because no matter how many times I tell him that mommy's filming you need to be quiet he don't listen so sorry about that in advance I don't think you guys mind because you should be used to Jaden by now he's made his cameo millions of times in my videos just what he does so I'm gonna build that up and I'm trying not to block you guys with my mirror but no matter like the fact that I have contacts in I am still blind so I'm blind so again with the E27 by Morphe just gonna blend that out and I didn't do my face I decided to do the eyes first so that's why I'm not using tape but if you are one of those people who like to do their face makeup first just so you know what your canvas is looking like um, I definitely recommend using tape always even though these shadows really don't give me a lot of fallout I still recommend using tape just because it's easier to clean up at the end so just a little tip but because I didn't do my face yet we can clean it up before we go in with the face makeup so And before I go any further with the actual eye portion of the makeup, I'm going to use a brush. Ha ha ha. And I'm going to grab my creme brulee again by Wet n Wild. Again, ride or die for my base as well as my brow bone highlight. Well, we're going to go in with another highlight later, but I'll show you. So I like to just put this up here. It just helps the shadows blend a lot better together. So I'm going to pop a little bit there. Not too much, because like I said, we're going to go in with another highlight later. So then E27 again, just to blend those at the brow bone. I 
Okay, so now we're going to go back in with the NYX Full Coverage Concealer. And I'm just going to grab a synthetic flat. Grab a little bit of that. And I'm going to put it on my eyelid. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want the shadows to stick. So I pretty much just put it by the lashes and then just blend it up a little bit. And I'm just going to use my finger just to pat that out a little bit. Okay, now for the shadows. Ha ha ha. We're going to be using, like I said, the Makeup Geek and Manny MUA palette. We're going to go in with. I'm going to start off by taking a little bit of Aphrodite and Mars, which are these two darker shades here. I'm just going to use a little bit of Mars, mix it with Aphrodite, and we're just going to go in. So I'm going to use, sorry I bumped you. I'm going to use, what you going to use? Sorry, I can't sing. Um, this is just an e.l.f. blending brush. It's just really small, and it's good for the inner part of the eyelid and the outer part. So that's what we're going to do. We're kind of going to gonna kind of do like a halo today because like I said I don't really I didn't have a plan going in but that's what I want to do so seriously guys just like the slightest bit of Mars on the tip there and then we're gonna pick up some Aphrodite and you don't want to go in very very heavily with dark shades right off the bat you kind of want to build it up because these shades by Makeup Geek are so intensely pigmented you don't like if you put on too much there's no going back it's like the point of no return so that's why I suggest going in with a light hand and then building up the color to your desired effect because you don't want to screw up and then you're gonna have to wash your face off and do it all over again it's not fun sorry for the noise um as you can see I don't have a background today just because I didn't feel like it <laughs> so um <clears throat> You're going to see the cats in the back, maybe. And then we're just going to do the same on the inner part of the eye. And be careful not to get it like too high up or too far in because it's going to close off your eyes and they're going to make them look small. I have very small eyes. That's why I don't usually do halos much because I find that it kind of just closes off the eye a little bit. And... I don't really like how it looks, but we're just going with it today. Okay, so now that that color is down pretty much, I'm going to go in with, let's take, what brush am I going to use? Let's use this one by Morphe. This is a, uh, a fluffy goat hair brush. This is the M518 if you're interested. I like it because it's long and fluffy, but it kind of comes to a taper at the uh, tip. So we're going to go in with Frapp Frappe, this one here, and I'm going to mix a little bit of Sora in with it also. So Frappe and Sora. I'm just going to grab a little bit of Frappe and pick up some Sora. And then we're just going to go in and we're going to blend directly in this crease area and my tip for you guys is when you go into the crease and you're doing a localized shadow application like this you want to point your brush down just have your arm above your eyes and I find that this helps to blend it out easier um, without putting too much pressure on the eye and it helps to keep the shadows like right there instead of going too far up past the crease. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just going to pick up a little bit more of those two Frappe and Sora. And again, just same thing. Go into that socket. And blend across. And I like to keep my eye open 
because it just helps me to better see and gauge like the color and the distribute distribution <laughs> distribution of the color um it just helps a lot so and so i'm bringing it from inner to outer and you see how you lost some color on the lid there it's okay because we're going to go back in remember how i said we're going to build it so if you lose that color you're just going to go back in with those two darker shades mars and what did i say aphrodite and you're just going to pack that color on again And you guys can see like how pigmented these colors are. Like they are bomb. I'm sorry if I'm blocking you with the mirror. I already warned you it was going to happen. So. Just darken up those colors again. And then of course you're going to go back in with the M518 and I'm going to blend again. Picking up a little bit more of Sora and Frap. Frappe, Frap. And just blend across. Okay, so other eye is done. Um, what we're gonna do next is, I'm going to take that NYX Full Coverage Concealer again, and I'm just gonna take a little bit, I'm gonna dab it on the center of my eye, because I really want the next shade to pop, what we're gonna be putting on the center of the lid. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. You can use MAC Fix Plus if you want, saline, water, um, you can use um, like a shadow base, you can use whatever you want. So I'm just gonna use this because this skin tone is going to give a little bit more of a pop with um, the next shade that we're going to put on. So just going to pop that right on the center. Just like that. And then we're going to go in with the next shade. I'm really, really excited about this. This is probably one of my absolute favorite shades in this whole entire palette. It is Luna. It's Luna. Luna is this gorgeous rose gold kind of just beautiful shade. I freaking love it. It's my absolute favorite. So I'm going to use a flat brush. This is by Lang and, um, Royal and Lang Nickel. Just going to dip my brush in there and then we're just going to start pressing it where we put that base and it's gonna have some hard edges just because of the base that we put on which is okay because we're gonna blend it so don't worry so go ahead and layer that Okay, and then I'm just going to take a smaller um, flat brush. This is just, you can't see that. This is just um, one that I got in my Ipsy bag. It's a thin, precise flat brush. So I'm just going to take that with, no, let's focus, with no product. And I'm just going to use it to blend the corners of that lid shade. Or the edges, rather. Because we don't want any harsh, you know, harsh lines. We want everything to blend, so. And I'm just going to take a little bit of frap. And go over that. Am I out of focus?
just like that and then to further intensify because I really want like a pop in the center I'm gonna go ahead and take my elf baked highlighter in the shade blush gems freaking love this highlighter it's like one of my absolute fave highlighters ever to work with I love the elf baked highlights to begin with all of them I have all of them so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that with my finger and I'm just gonna press it over top of the lid shade you see it just adds like a little extra something love 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 so I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes guys and I will be right back so excited so as I was going to put on my Cara lashes my package from Dodo lashes came so I figured I would pop back in and show you guys the lashes that I'm gonna be using these are the D119s from Dodo lashes quality of these is just so amazing and I'm gonna to try to take them out just to show you they're so beautiful and fluffy. Like I said, D119 are these. Um, beautiful, beautiful lashes. I have a code down below. I'll put everything down in the description box. These are like five bucks, guys, but I also have a code. You will get an even bigger discount. So you'll get a discount on the already low price of $5. I sound like an infomercial. <laughs> infomercial. Um, let me go pop these on, and I'll be right back. Okay, so my face is done. We're just going to get on finishing up the eyes texting me Shannon hey girl <laughs> um it's my friend Shannon from YouTube anyway let's go what are we doing I need my palette I've been like having a dance party in here while I've been behind the scenes doing my thing yeah that's what we do around here so back into the Manny MUA palette we are going to grab actually no I'm lying first we're gonna line the waterline I usually never do black just because I feel like it closes my eyes it does that's what black does whenever you put a dark color on your waterline especially when you have lashes on and deep dramatic makeup it kind of closes your eyes but we're just gonna roll with it we're gonna be sultry today so I'm gonna take my Marc Jacobs I don't know what this is called Highlighter Gel Crayon. This was from the birthday set from Sephora for my birthday month of March. So I'm just going to go ahead and line my waterline. Oh, wow. You know what? I totally goofed up. We should only be lining the inner part and the outer part. Leave the center blank. So I clean that up. I'm actually going to pop the Rimmel Nude on that inner part. Just to brighten up the bottom part so it doesn't completely close out my eyes. So that's a little trick if you want to line your waterline with a dark color. Just leave the center open and put like a brighter color. So now into the Manny MUA palette. We are going to go in with a fluffy brush. And I only have one of these. My, this is my favorite. The M506 by Morphe. It looks like that. It's such a wonderfully precise brush. I love it for crease work, outer view work, and also along the lower lash line. It's a great buffing tool for the lower lash line. Are you guys close enough? Okay, so let's go in to Sora and Beaches of Cream. Beaches of Cream. Beaches and Cream. So the two in the middle here. I'm going to take some Beaches and Cream. I'm going to take a little bit of Sora. And we're just going to take that and we're going to run it. along the hello I'm out of frame we're gonna run that along the whole under lash line part under lash line lower lash line Tina Marie get it together so we're gonna do that just to give a little base for what we're gonna do and I'm trying to stay in frame and look in the mirror so I'm sorry if it's a little cray cray. Just work with me here. Okay, so there's that. Then we're going to take a 
more precise brush, which I don't know. I'm just going to use, I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk eyeliner brush. This is the eyebrow brush, I'm sorry. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to go into Aphrodite here, the darker mar um, maroon kind of color. And I'm just going to take that and focus it where we put the black. So inner corner and outer. That's my mama dukes. It's actually my sister. Sorry. <laughs> so just place that as close to the lash line as you can. On the inner and outer. I so expected her to call back because it's my nephew's birthday and I told her to call me if she was in the area. <clears throat> so anyway, now that that's done, I'm just going to grab a little bit more frap and we're going to blend that out again. Okay, so, <clears throat> my throat, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just going to take a flat brush, and we're going to grab um, the shade that we put on the lid. It's Artemis. I'm lying. Luna. We're going to take Luna, and we're going to pop that on the center. So we're basically mimicking the top lid. And then one more time, I'm just going to go ahead and blend right here. And now for the inner corner highlight, we are going to use... What did I want to use for the inner corner? <clears throat> I think I'm going to take Bada Bing, which is another Makeup Geek shadow. I would use Artemis, which is this beautiful highlight shade here, but it's kind of goldy, and I really, I just don't want to do like a gold. I want to do like a champagne. So we're going to grab Bada Bing and just a smaller brush. It's kind of like pinky, like champagne-y. So we're going to take that and we're going to put it on the inner corner here just to really open up the eyes. See what that does? It just kind of gives you a pop and opens up the eyes a lot. And that's it. So now for lower lash mascara. Think together. I think, you think that I would have everything in front of me, but I don't. Sorry, guys. Um, Rimmel Lash Accelerator. I absolutely love this for the lower lash line. Just going to pop it on the lashes. Hate my lower lashes. Does anybody else suffer from non existent lower lashes? I freaking hate it. Okay, so that's it for the eyes. Moving on to the lips. I'm excited about the lips. So I bought this lip liner from Essence uh, at Ulta. 
and forgive me, I'm so dumb, like, I can't read the names right when I'm on film, it's so funny. I read the totally wrong, like, area of the label. This is in the shade Soft Berry. I said something crazy when I first showed this in a haul, I believe. So stupid of me, but let's move it back a little bit so you can see. Okay, so, really pretty color, we're just going to go ahead and... Line away. And I like to bring it in on like the outer part. Just kind of like blend it to give it like an ombre effect. And then over top of that, we're just going to go in with a nude. This is by Essence as well. It's a liquid lipstick in the shade, what are you? Cosnova, C-O-S-N-O-V-A. It's just a nude because I really want the eyes to be the focus. I really love these liquid lipsticks by Essence. They're very, very glossy they're not a matte so if you're looking for a matte formula the same for you um i just think it's a really nice you know change from the whole matte trend that's going on so i really really like it and they're very inexpensive same thing with the lip liners so good creamy pigmented and just amazing so that's it for the makeup let me do something with this hair and then we will say goodbye <laughs> this look I hope you enjoyed all of the products that I use will be listed down below um, that's it for this video thanks so much for watching I really appreciate it there's Dutchie in the background Dutchie stop licking yourself on camera you pig all right guys thanks so much again I love you don't forget to check the description box for all of the product descriptions product links um, coupon codes etc also, don't forget to follow me on social media. I am on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, where I do lots of behind-the-scenes stuff. We have fun over there, so don't forget to follow me on Snapchat. Everything will be down there. That's it. Um, March favorites coming up next. So, yeah, I'm excited for the new month. Um, happy Easter to everybody that celebrates. I love you guys, and I will see you soon.